No. Um, I don't have a song, <laughs> and I don't have uh, anything too clever. And what I have to say is not really um, too upbeat, but it's not really depressing. I mean, um, we're here because, you know, we're trying to educate ourselves about all the stuff that's going on out there. And we talk about the 99% and the 1% and Wall Street and all these things. And to some extent, a lot of it is very intellectual. A lot of it is the stuff that we hear from everybody. But I want to remind everybody that a lot of this stuff hits home. Today, December the 1st, okay? I don't know how many people know this, but today is World AIDS Day. Whoa. Today, we have 30 years of AIDS in the world. 30 years, since 1981. Um, we are trying to get to zero. This is what um, the World Health Organization and people around the world are trying to say. Zero means zero new HIV infections, zero AIDS related deaths, and zero discrimination. Now, I'm going to say at first, before you ask yourself, what does AIDS have to do with the Occupy movement? Ask yourself this. Imagine having, imagine being HIV positive, imagine having AIDS, and imagine being poor. Mm. Think about that. It happens to a lot of people. It happens to a lot of people. I've known lots of people who are HIV positive and people with AIDS. So this stuff is the kind of stuff that hits home. Since 1981, more than 60 million people have become infected with HIV. Globally, 23% of all people living with HIV are under 24 years old. Women account for half of all HIV infections. 68% of all persons with HIV and AIDS live in Sub-Saharan Africa. Since 1981, AIDS has claimed more than 25 million lives. Since 2009, just two years ago, 230,000 people died of AIDS-related illnesses. 35% of all newly acquired HIV infections affect people between 15 and 24 years old. Just this year, 2011, people living with HIV are subject to restrictions of travel or stay in 47 countries around the world. In Sub-Saharan Africa, 72% of all AIDS-related uh, deaths are, are, are AIDS-related. And last year, one-third of persons with AIDS or HIV lost employment, got denied health care, or faced exclusion. Mm -hmm. Here in the United States, African Americans and Latino communities are still disproportionately affected by HIV AIDS. Between 2005 and 2009, the number of children orphaned by AIDS increased by 14.6 million to 16.6 uh, million, so it's increased. 370,000 newborns contract HIV in low and middle income countries every year. With access to medication, people with HIV can live into their golden years. Now these are just facts, these are just statistics, but I'm trying, I'm just pointing this out to remind everybody that when somebody asks you, what are we here for? please try to remember our cause is just. Because we are fighting not just monsters that exist somewhere in our heads on Wall Street. I don't know, no, does anybody here know someone from the 1%? I don't. And um, a case has been made, somebody said, you know, in San Bernardino, because it's now the second poorest country, uh, city in, in the country, it, I don't know if anybody knows this, they don't even have 1%. It's more like 98.9% every, is everybody there. So the poverty that we, we are fighting against uh, is not just poverty because people don't have enough to eat or things like that. There are people in this world who are dying every day. And they don't have to die because we could have medication for them. And where's that money going? Well, it's going to fund bombs and guns and wars and all kinds of things we all know about. So I'm just, I, I, I'm not here to bring down people, but I just want everybody here, I wish we had a bigger group, um, just to remember that when someone asks you,